and welcome to Value Chain TV News Update. I am Adal Bioguidjofo with the news. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, has said that it has completed all arrangements to commence its sixth phase of tracking some fraudulent constituency projects across Nigeria. The commission disclosed that beginning on Monday, it would deploy its officers across all the six geopolitical zones of the nation to track 1,932 projects valued at 500 billion naira. The reports. Spokesperson for the ICPC, Azuka Ogugwa, while speaking in Abuja, explained that the objective of the exercise was to ensure improved service delivery to the people across the nooks and crannies of the country. Ogugwa listed four call states for the exercise to include Nasarawa, Benue, Kogi, Nainja, Kwara, Plato, Adamawa, Borno, Bauchi, Taraba, Gombe, Yobe, Kanu, Katsina, Kebi, Sokoto, Anambra, Eboni, Imo, Akwa Ibom, Bayelsa, Edo, Ekiti, Lagos, Ondo State, and the Federal Capital Territory. She also announced that the Commission will put special intervention agencies or captive funds project handling on the satellite, including the execution of the Northeast Development Commission and Presidential Amnesty Program. Others are the Delta Development Commission, Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund, Ecological Fund Office, National Health Insurance Authority, and Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission. Adal Bioguja 4, reporting for Value Chain TV. The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, has raised alarm over the increasing price of natural gas to manufacturers around the Otta, Atan, and Abara industrial area by Shell Gas, a subsidiary of Shell Producing Development Company, SPDC. The association complained that the monopoly of Shell over gas supply was hurting businesses, with companies losing millions of naira. The report. Speaking with newsmen, the vice chairman Echoes Matters of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria Export Promotion Group, Manek, Mr. Ehimegbe Ohai, stated that factories around the Ota, Atan, and Agwara industrial axis were facing production challenges following abrupt disconnection of gas supply by Shell as well as the outrageous cost of selling natural gas. According to him, Shell Gas has formed the habit of unexpectedly disconnecting gas supply to local manufacturers without notice and delaying reconnection of gas supply, saying it is causing challenges to production. He further added that the price of Nigerians' natural gas is now the highest in the world, leading to more collapse of industries in the country. He called on the federal government to place other on gas supply to the power stations in order to prevent blackout in the country. A report reaching us moments ago hinted that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu may have removed the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, from the Treasury Single Account, TSA, to allow the Capital City's administration the use of internally generated revenue, IGR, for development. At the news conference today, FCT Minister Nyezom Wike has also disclosed that the President has approved the creation of the FCT Civil Service Commission to allow for staff career progression. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has lifted foreign exchange restrictions on importation of 43 items to boost liquidity in the foreign exchange market. This was disclosed in a statement by the Director of Corporate Communications Department of CBN, Isa Abdul Mumin, where he noted that importers of all 43 items previously restricted by the 2015 Buhari administration are now allowed to purchase foreign exchange in the Nigerian foreign exchange market. Amongst the 43 items are rice, cement, toothpicks, steel, plywood boards, canned foods and others. Reacting to the development, some Nigerians informed Value Chain TV that the lift will improve the economy while others expressed reservations. The lifting of the ban will promote the economy quite alright because before now when they 
stop the importations. Our local uh, product is good, but it isn't enough. And business-wise, people are being limited on how to do their business because when you have the only, the only, uh, the only local product only in the market, it's kind of segregated, like it's limited to certain numbers. But when you have the foreign product coming in, it will improve our market and also it will improve our, our economy. I think also create more jobs because people will f flush into the business. Oh, the idea of saying uh, that you started importing eh, from other countries, uh, it is not helping us. Every day our, our graduates, eh, we are graduating students from university, no place to keep them. Eh? And you are taking that into outside country for what? A recent report has indicated that complaints of bank customers rose by 117% to 6.8 million year-on-year year as of June 2023, from 3.1 million complaints as of the same period in 2022. The review, which covered five Nigerian banks, showed that financial claims arising from the various complaints stood at 326.11 billion naira, up by 289% compared with the 83.78 billion naira paid in claims in 2022. Value chain Axum Nigerians yet takes on this development. Several complaints about banks. I am actually rushing down to a bank now at the moment. I made a transfer to my wife um, earlier yesterday morning, about 4.30 a.m. The transfer didn't go through. You know, normally if you make a transfer, it doesn't go through. You have to wait for 24 hours. And we've waited, you know, from 4 yesterday till 4 this morning. Should be enough time to reverse the money. But the money has not been reversed. What about first? Last year, see now. Nothing about, nothing they do. I just quiet. Why people go there to open their account? Make them open their account. They block their account too. after they come out the money. Okay, open their account. Look at this my account. They say they go do that. See now they don't do anything. And that's it on the news updates. I am Adalbio Guijo 4. Thanks for staying with us.